Hello guys, welcome back. I am going to be bringing my friend the Dollar Tree fan into this video because if there's one thing about me, it's that I'm going to sweat. Today's video is going to be my current favorites. I have an assortment in front of me, some products I have never mentioned and you guys just really need to know about them, so that's basically why I'm hopping on here. And then some others you've probably heard me talk about, kind of beating a dead horse with some favorites that are actually almost empty. So I have an empty to share too, but just random favorites that I'm obsessed with right now before we get into summer. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of video. It's my favorite video to film and also my favorite to watch. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the first product that you absolutely need. I feel like there's no excuse. This is like the best product I've tried in the past two months and I'm going to have to repurchase it soon. This is an absolute gem in the skincare world and I guess you could say the makeup world too. It is the Youth to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. It's an absolute mouthful but it basically it's a skincare mist. It's the most fine skincare mist I've ever tried. This is is so incredible. I probably have talked about it before, but it's just a game changer, a life changer. I'm obsessed with it. I don't have a lot of skincare mist, so maybe that's why I'm so obsessed, but it's such a neat way and convenient way to apply skincare and also refresh your skin. I can't drive it home enough though. This is my favorite product by far out of this video, and that's why it's number one, and I will be repurchasing it. I've been using it for like two months straight now, and I guess I mean, it's doing pretty well for using it like multiple times a day. Um, it is such a fine mist, so maybe not a lot of it comes out, but you know what? <laughs> I could use this shit right now. It's so good. It's so good. This product is my favorite micellar water that I've ever tried. It's the It Cosmetics Miracle Water. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not even sure. I think you could get it off of Sephora, but it's sold out. So you might have to go directly to It Cosmetics if you want to try this. But if you're a fan of the Garnier one, this is like an even stronger but still sensitive micellar water. It takes everything off. It takes tricky eye makeup off. It also is really good, like, even if you washed your face already, but maybe like me, maybe you sweat a little bit before you start your makeup routine, you can just take a cotton pad or a reusable cotton pad and just swipe over with the Miracle Water before you apply your makeup just to make sure you have a super clean base. This is definitely a random favorite because it's not super exciting, but if you're a micellar water lover, definitely try this one. This year, I promised myself I would wear SPF no matter what every single day, if it's sunny, if it's cloudy, no matter what, I'm wearing SPF. So I decided it would be easier if I found a daily moisturizer to use in the morning that has a little bit of SPF in it and then I will layer with stronger SPF so this is like my base SPF. This is the Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer and I think my cousin, my younger cousin was using this when she was visiting me and just kind of inspired me. I, I was like oh it's so great that you're using SPF and then I thought to myself I use SPF but I don't have it in a daily moisturizer really like I'm lucky if I have it in my makeup like maybe I'll have it in my IT Cosmetics CC cream or something but I didn't have a product like this so I actually copied her and picked this up and I've been using it every single day my skin doesn't react to it it's really good it's kind of expensive but it's lasted me surprisingly long I use like three pumps of it like a generous amount of it and I use it all over my face before I start my day um, and if it's a no makeup day then I'm definitely making sure I have this and then another stronger SPF layered over top. Fun fact that actually sucks though for me is that Aveeno is having like product shortages or ingredient shortages so the pink capped lotion that I use all over my body, the creamy moisturizing oil, is on shortage so if you've noticed if you use the same lotion it's impossible to find so I actually hunted it down at a couple drugstores and bought the last bottle to hopefully last until the end of the year where Aveeno said by the end of the year, they'll be stocking back up. That's like the best lotion for my eczema, so that kind of sucks. I am genuinely sorry about the fanning. I have to fan myself. It's the only thing saving me. Um, my makeup's is starting to break up around my upper lip too because of it, so stupid sweaty room. A new hair product that I've been loving. Well, it's new to me. I reached for it because I was out of my current heat protectant. This is the Hot Toddy Before Ironing Heat Protectant Mist. And what I really like about this, again, it's a super fine mist and I've got a thing for fine mists, but it doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't really feel like anything. It doesn't have too strong of a scent. Like it has a nice fresh scent, but it's not too, too strong. Um, I just really been liking it. I feel like it coats all of your hair 
with that nice fine mist but doesn't weigh it down at all. It says it protects up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which I have been better about actually lowering the heat on my heat styling tools. It's also from the brand Dry Bar, which I think is a really popular hair care brand. I don't know. I'm still kind of fairly new to the world of hair care. I don't know if you guys can see, but the black dye is almost out of my hair. It's incredibly annoying. I feel like I'm not going to be happy with my hair until it's completely gone, but I'm just kind of new in this hair world, but if you're looking for a continuous mist for your heat protectant, this is a really good one. This was like a happy, like, not a happy mistake. I, I don't know what you'd call it. It was an accidental favorite find. Um, so I think it was an add-on that I got with a Bondi Sands order. It's the Bondi Sands Body Moisturizer with vitamin E, jojoba, and a coconut scent. This is, I'm not going to lie, exactly like the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Cream or Body Lotion, whatever it's called. If you guys have tried that, like every influencer talks about it because it makes you look like you're greased up for the runway kind of thing, but it's very, very hydrating and nice. This is exactly that, but with a little nice coconut scent and in a much cuter, aesthetically pleasing bottle. This wasn't meant to be included, but the Good and Gather Alkaline Water with Electrolytes is a dupe for Essentia. It's the Target brand and Essentia is my favorite water. And this is pretty close. This is what I'm hydrating with today. The Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes. These are only two of the shades. They're my two newest shades, but I love all of the ones that I have. I picked up the shade Happy and Lucky so that I could do the little concealer hack on TikTok, which I just filmed it. It's in my drafts, but I took a little bit of this shade, which is Happy, and I dotted it, mixed it in with my concealer, and it really does give you a really pretty brightened under eye look. And then I took the shade Lucky, the more like dark darker hot pink and put it on my cheeks today. So my under eyes are happy and my cheeks are lucky and these, you know, they're actually, I, I don't want to say affordable because $20 is still expensive, but I feel like you get your money's worth with these products because they last forever. At least mine do. The Bliss shade, like a little bit goes a long way. I've had that for over a year now. Um, it's probably working its way towards the end, but all of these make really beautiful everyday blushes and I'm definitely on the liquid train right now. I love all forms of blush. I'm kind of blush obsessed, but these are definitely my top ones right now, probably because they're new and so highly anticipated because I waited forever to do that happy blush trend. But after trying it, I do think that this would make a really pretty everyday shade too. And on the lines of pink blushes, I have another one that I've talked about many, many times, but I still wear it almost every single day. This one is mega affordable, so, and it's also a little bit more dewy. It leaves a little bit of a sheen slash highlight on my face. This is the ColourPop Cheek Dew in the shade Hotline. So it's a really beautiful neutral slash pinky blush, but it is going to leave that nice, like, dewy, highlighted cheekbone. So it's kind of like a two-in-one product for me. It probably doesn't look like it because I shook it up, but this is actually almost gone. I ordered a new one, which probably makes this one of my only blushes, liquid blushes that I've had to repurchase. So I think that just tells you how much I'm obsessed with this blush. I think the Cheek Dew line is a little bit slept on. I will say this product will separate if you let it sit in your collection too long. So give it a good shake before you use it. But it's really, really good and really affordable. The best setting spray on the market, hands down by far, is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. I have tried many, many setting sprays. This is the best one. Mine is gone. So this is also an empty, and I just repurchased the same size. This is the smaller size. Um, the smaller size is $20, which makes it a little bit more accessible. I like that it comes in a small size, but I did go through this whole thing. I would have bought the big one, but it was out of stock. I just had to mention it because RIP. Like, Urban Decay All Nighter and this one are the only setting sprays I've ever gone completely through, except like in the distant past where I went through um, the MAC, MAC, oh my god, what is it called? Fix Plus. But this one, why am I going like this? <laughs> this one is by far my favorite that I've ever tried. A concealer that is 100% worth the hype. I have dry skin, so just keep that in mind, but having dry skin makes it really hard to find concealers that look good under the eye because they can cling to dry patches, they can look cakey or just like wrinkly and really bad. This is like the best concealer I've tried underneath the eyes. I actually have kind of strayed away from placing concealer under my eyes because of how dry they can look, but I tried it out with this 
this with like the TikTok trends and everything and I've been using this pretty much every single day. It brightens the under eye, it hydrates the under eye, I think it has skincare properties in it, it's really good coverage. I also use this to spot conceal my face so just everything about this is a yes. I'm obsessed with this concealer and I like it better than the foundation because I use this pretty much every day regardless of if I use the Kosas foundation. I think this might be a boring favorite but I had to mention it because this is all I've been using lately for primer. It's the e.l.f. Jelly Pop primer. Now I did just find out that the e.l.f. Jelly Pop is the same as the Power Grip from e.l.f., the new one, but the Power Grip doesn't have a scent. So this has the watermelon scent, which I really like, especially for spring and summer. Like I like a nice refreshing like watermelon scent. Um, I now have two backups of this because I fear that they're going to discontinue it for some reason. I don't know. I keep seeing it on sale and that worries me. And I actually found one at Marshall's and you know that worries me. So I have backups. Elf, please don't discontinue this. Some of us really love the watermelon scent, but of course I love the Power Grip too, but like I'd rather have this pretty pink red bottle with the watermelon scent personally. So $10, amazing drugstore gripping primer. Um, it makes me look dewy and it makes my skin look so youthful. So love this, always will love this, hope that it sticks around. <laughs> also from e.l.f., the brow lift. There's like no excuse for any of us to be purchasing the Anastasia one at this point. This is a complete dupe for it. I mean, it's six dollars. It keeps your brows in place. It doesn't flake. It doesn't turn white. It's amazing. They have a brow brush too, but like you literally cannot go wrong with this. It's the most affordable brow gel of its form, like in the potted form. I use it every single day pretty much. I am testing out one from another brand right now um, that has some really good claims, but this has by far been my favorite. I mean, you really can't beat the price and there's nothing wrong with it. It's literally doing the same exact thing as the Anastasia one. As I've been like decluttering my collection, I've been rediscovering old favorites because if I don't want to toss something out, I'll try to use it up even if it's like a little bit old. This is an example of that. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair. I'm wearing this gloss right now. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about it, but like I said, I'm riding the pink wave right now like pink everything. I don't know. There's just something really pretty about this shade of gloss. I, it reminds me of old school. What was it called? Strawberry Parfait from like Lip Bonnebel Lip Lights or whatever. Um, same vibe. It smells really good. This one in particular is old so it's a little thick. Uh, but you know what? It's really old and it's lasted and it still works and I just love this shade. So if you were wondering what I was wearing, it is the Butter Gloss in Eclair. However, this one is like really light pink, like you've got to be going for this vibe and there's a gloss that I like better than that, but I don't like the price, but I'm still going to talk about it because I really love the gloss. Like I love it so much. This is from the brand Floss, which I'll talk a little bit about, but this is the My New Favorite Lip Gloss in the shade LAX. So I really like this. This is my purse gloss, if that says anything. It has a doe foot applicator, which I think is really neat. This one's like a My Lips But Better type of gloss, so it's a little darker than what I'm wearing right now. But oh my god, I am so in love with this gloss. It looks so good. It feels good. It's not sticky. It's less sticky than the NYX one. This never gives you like ugly, stringy, sticky lips. Like it's the perfect just sheer coat but pigmented gloss. It really is my new favorite lip gloss. I do wish that the brand had more shades. I think they have four shades available and a clear, which I need them all. But I want to say this is like almost $30, which is so expensive. And the brand kind of never posts anything on their social media and never really releases anything new. So again, I really hope this doesn't like disappear from the face of the earth. Floss, if you happen to be watching this, I feel like we need more shades. And like, I love this so much that I would like, I'm not a big enough influencer to say this, I guess, but I would collaborate with them and create a shade because this is literally the best lip gloss that I've ever tried. And I love it so much. I love the applicator. The applicator doesn't leak. This component doesn't leak. I put it in my purse pocket like this. Um, it's floated around in my car for a few weeks. It's just so good. I love it. And it kind of gives me like glossier vibes, but like better. I don't know. I love this gloss. The best foundation I've tried over the past couple of months is by far Basma Beauty. I'm sure that I have talked about this before as well, but it's so incredible. It has really good coverage. It's natural looking. I am wearing it today. And also I have my foundation shade and my contour as a favorite. So my foundation shade is 030 
and my contour shade is 014. Both blend like an absolute dream. You need to try this out if you haven't already. If you're a fan of stick foundation, this is going to be the best one you've ever tried. At least it is for me. My skin has never looked better with makeup on it than it does with this foundation. This is my contour shade. So it's like the perfect in-between warm and cool. Like it's like a neutral bronzy shade and it just blends so good with this. This brand deserves all the hype. I also really like the packaging. Sol de Janeiro answered my prayers with releasing a body mist of the Beja Floor body cream scent. So this is Chirosa 68. It smells a lot like Ariana Grande Cloud. I get compliments immediately when I wear this. So I do rotate between my Sol de Janeiro scents. I don't stick to one of them, but most of the time I am wearing the original Chirosa 62, like the Boom Boom Cream scent, just because in the spring and summer, that is just a vibe. It is what I like to call my signature scent. I'm always smelling like that. I feel like people in my real life like will recognize that smell but I do rotate on and off with the other scents and every time I wear this I get compliments so I'm obsessed with this I'm so glad that they came out with the body mist and also I like that they market these mists as body and hair mist I think it's fun to spray these into your hair I feel like when you walk by people like you just smell really good so love this and last up I'm just so happy to have this back in my life I was reminded why I love this so much I feel like I saw recently in a TikTok that makeup by Mar Mario. Mario was using this on Kim Kardashian. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It really is the best press powder that I've ever used. I've mentioned this before, but it's the only powder that I've ever completely gone through. Like every single piece of powder was scraped out of my last one. So I finally repurchased during the Sephora VIB sale and I was just reminded about how much I love this powder. I, right now, I kind of spot powder my face, so I will do like just a little bit around my nose, my upper lip because it sweats like crazy, and like my chin area, sometimes a little bit underneath my eyes. So I'm kind of hoping it takes me a lot longer to go through this. But also if I do wear powder products, like powder blush or bronzer, I make sure I have a nice fine layer of this powder down first so that everything blends together really, really well. But that's it for today's video. I know it was a little bit chaotic. I have so much more to share with you guys. So just let me know what you want to see over here on this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and being patient with me. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.